Okay, now we're going to work on exercise four, and this time uh, we're also going to add this to it right off the bat, which is to get the user input. Um, all right, so it says create an application named percentages whose main method holds two double variables, assign them to variables, assign values to the variables, pass both variables named compute percent that displays two values, and the value of the first number is a percentage of the second. Exactly. <laughs> so it says, for example, if the number are 2 and 5, the method should display a statement similar to 2 is 40% of 5. So you have to figure out how to do the math on top of it all. All right, so let's jump back over to JGRASP. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab all of this and copy it. Is that all right? You can say no, it's not all right. And then I'm just going to copy some names. Yeah, we don't need that part, do we? And this stuff's all going to change, obviously, right? Are we going to need all these different methods? We're just going to need one. And what should we call that? Does it tell us? Yep, compute percent. Oops, apparently it didn't copy. All right, and we're going to have to change some of these things. Obviously, int's not going to be right, but it asked us to put in some doubles, right? So what do I type? Double? Double? All right. So we need num1, num2. Do we give them variable or values right off the bat? And then we're going to need to call it, right? inside here? Two things, right? Any, any issues with that? Are we clear? So in order to do the computation, we have to send both numbers in. So when we send them both in, we also have to be able to receive both of them. We can leave my number, that's fine. And should this be a double? Double? What syntax should I use here, folks, in a little informal quiz? Double. Double? Double. All right. All right, so let's do some math here. How shall I proceed? How do we come up with that percentage is the question. If we are to come up with 2 being 40% of 5, what's the math involved? This one divide by that one times... Okay, so you just called it param1, param2? Yeah. But here I'm using this, so I would say number 1 divide by my number 2 in parentheses. In parentheses. And then what? Times 100. course we'll have to change this and really we don't have to call it percent one we can just call it 
Well, maybe we should call it percent one because who knows if that's a reserve word, right? All right. So we need to say something similar to this. This is 40% of this. All right, so my number one is 40% of my number two. Are we done? Oh, okay. So it wants us to do it. And then call a method a second time, passing the values in reverse order. Okay, so we have to do this again. All right, let's go ahead and give it a run and see what happens. Hopefully our syntax is all good. Good? What are we doing wrong here? Well, I hard coded that. Right, so I'm not actually using the percent thing that we're calculating. And you guys are ready to let me sail right through. It's all about the details, folks. How does that look? Right, because it is going to tell us what that percentage is. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. Let's give it a run. That's what we want. All right. So if you want to ramp it up to the next level, then you would add the, the scanner input. And I'm sure I have one of those examples here somewhere in one of these previous ones like this. Should I go ahead and do that? So there's the first part. And isn't this interesting here? And I'm just going to kind of copy this. And maybe this will help you understand the classes and object thing just a little bit better as I paste this in. And now the question is, where do I put that input? Do I put it inside the method? I could. I could create a method just to do that. All right. So knowing what we know now about that little lecture I gave you about objects and classes, what does this tell you? Right. Scanner is an object. Something that's pre-created. We're giving, we're creating a new instance, we're giving it a name, we're invoking the fact that it's new by just doing it. I think we did that in the Yeah, and, um, and actually this will work just fine here, right? I'll just change the variable names. Not quite, but almost. May I write out the whole word double? Double. Oops. Is this all right? All right let's save it. Let's give it a run. Hopefully no errors. 
please enter an integer. Looks like it works just fine. All right, so that would be the second version. So if you were to save that, you would save it as percent percentages too. And I'm not going to go through the hassle of that, but that shows you how to complete it. All right. So now that we're doing this in class, does it seem a whole lot easier? Yes. Okay, good. Because it, it's not intended to be hard. And that will end this video.